Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is the current status of the game. And, and I don't know why I'm speaking in English because I was supposed to do this in Portuguese. Anyways, it is looking good. This is my ship. I can enter that and go back to the to the universe. But check this out. It, of course, there's no animation. Anyways, it is looking good. So this is a procedurally generated planet, but it's also pre-computed. It's not like uh, in real time, just like No Man's Sky. So th I can actually edit this planet if I want to. Like I can add an entire city here that's not procedurally generated. So let me go back to my ship. I decided to make them flying because... Anyways, this is like a test thing. Let me go back. So my ship gets out. This is work in progress as well. Then I go back to the planet preview. And let me go back to space. You can see this is the planet that I was. And different from No Man's Sky, not No Man's Sky, it's different from the original uh, Starfield game, I can actually go to the planets. And you can see that there's a lot of planets over there, like a lot of planets. It's not endless, and it's not like thousands of them or hundreds. Um, but still, it's a lot. Let me try to find where I was, because there was a planet nearby that I kind of wanted to visit. Oh, whatever, let me go to something else. I want to go to a planet with water. Let me go to Plulongulia. <laughs> right, oh, this is just water, basically. Nah. There's no water shader, by the way, so I don't want to enter in the water planet. Mm. Let's go to this one. Zitara Plutrix. Zitara. Oh, this is interesting. Way more interesting. Uh, you can see there's sea. Gravity is okay. Air quality is fine. It's a little bit too hot, but well, let's, let's enter the planet. So there's an animation. And there's no loading screen, so the game just crashes for uh, five seconds or something like that. Uh, each planet has about 40 megabytes of data. Uh, again, it's procedurally generated, but it's pre-computed as well. That's why it's like, right now the game is loading the, the data from disk. Let's see this planet. Whoa, this is a very foggy planet. And it also looks completely different from the other can see here I'm, I'm shooting this soft body stuff anyways let me try to go down I don't want to go too much because uh, jumping here is okay I don't think I'll be able to go back to my ship mm. man I'm curious to see the water there is not much I mean there's some grass here but not much now let me go back We'll go to something else, somewhere else. This will take a while. So what I will probably do is instead of freezing the game, I will load the game while the ship is entering the planet because there's this animation and I can take this time to load the game. This is probably what I'm gonna do next. There's a lot of stuff that I need to fix as well. Anyways, so this is the planet. Let me go back to space. Nice. I'm not sure if you can hear. Let me maybe glitch this a little bit, but I'll increase the volume. Oh, yeah, you can shoot. Nice. So let me go to maybe. Let me go to Blue Tricks. No. Oh, Plutrix is right here. No. Yep. Let me see Plutrix. What? It's a very not fine planet. You can see here. Um, there's no water. It's very hot. Air quality is terrible. Gravity is low. There's no green. And it's... Oh, it's sort of like a good soil. You can see here. Uh, that's why it's so dark. But since it's too hot... 
there's no green probably because there's no water here at 180 degrees so let me enter the planet it will be a little bit boring you can see that the horizon is red meaning that the planet is terrible so again the game is freezed <laughs> let me wait for it real quick it would be nice to preload this and it's not hard to do in blender game engine the way i do i'm doing well this is hell <laughs> what this is very bad plan and i like the fact that i'm not even wearing like astronaut suit and the texture that i'm using does have plants so this is i need to change this it's my it's i actually did not think about that before anyways so yeah, gravity is not a lot so you can see that i'm like floating basically but this is literally <laughs> it looks like hell there's no water not much in this planet some rocks and that's it yeah i'm getting out and i'll try to explore one last planet before this video so basically uh since i'm doing this in english i need to do some explanation well oh, this is looking good um I wanted to play Starfield, but I can't because I don't have like an Xbox and I don't like playing stuff on, com on my computer because it feels like I'm working since I work with games. So I decided to make my own and I'm still using my computer, but well, now I'm actually doing work. So it's, wow. it's fine. Uh, let me go to trying to find so and this is a project like this is a three days three day project probably and the reason why i said in the beginning of the video that, that i was supposed to say to speak stuff in portuguese in this video is because i was actually like recording the development and releasing on my portuguese channel yeah i want this one No, this is just water. Again, I'm not entering this because I don't have stuff for water. So you only see like a boring... Uh, and you probably can't hear me while the, the thruster is on. But you probably see not much. also decrease the volume a little bit of the game all right this is verdor mm. no i want to do some because there's a lot of water but uh, you can you don't even need to interact with the planet you can see the preview of the planet by just getting nearby you can see it's just ice and it's telling that it's ice probably because it's very cold here let's go to this one yeah you can see oh <laughs> it's mostly water there's some land let me try to enter this planet as the last one in this video this is a very improvised video recording. Just wanted to share because um, I was rebuilding the procedural planets. It took like two hours to generate 67 planets. And it's new. It's my first time checking the planets as well. So, yeah. okay. So, as I said, there's no water shader. So, it's just like a weird, weird thing. And you can step on water in this because there's no water shader on our water logic. So I'm supposing that, yes, I can step on water for now. <laughs> it's fine. But here we go. So there's land and there's actually grass here, which is very nice. Check this out, man. It is looking good. Not gonna lie. It is looking very good. What is that? Interesting. Let me check this. Mmm, it's a big rock. I wanted to go to get on top. At least I can throw some soft body objects. Yes. Anyways.
No way that I'll be able to get on top of this. I can double jump and even a triple jump because I'm testing stuff and gravity here is very not nice. I mean, it's nice actually. I like low gravity. But apparently, it is not enough. It's barely, barely enough, but not enough. Okay. Man, I'm having a lot of fun. Check it out. The, like the, the atmosphere looks good. And like the this the sky is a little bit uh greenish. Uh by the way, the horizon, the horizon color is based, if I remember correctly, on how good the planet is for breathing, so for breathing, breathing, I don't know how to pronounce that. But basically, um if it's good for you to 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 breathe in the planet it'll be like a bluish color so this planet is not so good to breathe in it and you can see the character check it check the character hand it's a little bit red meaning that the sun there's no sun yet is too hot here so yeah this planet it does have uh grass but you can see there's no trees as well. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's not a lot of trees here. Uh, because it, this planet is probably not a good idea to to stay on. And my my ship is far away. I'm gonna try to go back to the ship. Now imagine this game with stuff to do. I have no idea what uh, what can I add to this game. This would probably be like a boring demo scene only. And also, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Oh, this is my hand, by the way, hand shadow. Um, I haven't decided yet if I will add um, and if oh sorry. Underwater, I'm thinking and I'm admiring the landscapes and the, the colors why I always speak uh, I haven't decided if I would do underwater stuff at the moment the procedurally generated planets does not have any content uh, Below the sea level, so it's just it's just landscape Get out Bye So yeah, I'm going back to space and I said that this was going to be the last planet. But you know what? Let me go visit Sirnova. Because Sirnova seems promising. You can see that this is like placeholder stuff, but some stuff does have this green with the lowercase, and some other planets does have the green with uh, like uh, an uppercase and a plus. Meaning that this planet does have a lot more green than this one. But I'm still going to this one. Because it's my first time even listening to this. Check it out. The continents. Man, looks good. Looks So, again, I need to do the water shader in the planet. So it will look like this in the planet as well. And it's freezed. <laughs> Loading stuff happening. All right. So what I would do is when you land, I start loading. And since the, your ship lands like very, very high, I would just put a message waiting for authorization to, to descend, something like that. <laughs> this planet is nice. Not very healthy to breathe here, especially if no anything. But you can see that this planet is not very hot. Just the atmosphere is terrible to breathe, but well, this planet somehow managed to survive. So yeah, we have a procedurally generated... No, this planet is not procedural, but the placement, the, the, the tree placement is procedural. And it looks beautiful. Not gonna lie. This is... Oh, I do have collisions in this. 
was not supposed to collide with this plant. Not at all. Not at all. I'll change that later. Oh, this is different. I like to shoot this stuff. It's funny. Let me reach that place. And then I think I'll stop the recording. It's enough for today. Not even sure if I release this. If I release, I'd love to see your comments. What do you think about this game? By the way, it's not made in Cave Engine. It's made in Blender Game Engine. And I can visit all this. So nice. So nice. I'll take a screenshot. This is probably going to be like the video cover. Anyways, folks, that's it for this video. Small one. It's late night here. And I'm recording this just for fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and I mean, pause the game. Yes, I do have a pause menu. And I see you in the next video.